Hey everybody, Asher here with more XCOM 2, where we had a little bit of a strange episode last time, mainly because of all the interruptions, but hopefully that's not going to be the case this time around. But we're going to be starting off pretty much where we left off at the end of last time. The Shadow Chamber is almost done. We just finished a facility raid, which means that we have, uh, we have the Avatar counter down, but it's just going to pop back up here in a minute if we look at the event screen. Alien facility construction is going to be in four weeks, so we got some time before it pops back up. But while we do want to go ahead and connect to this facility through Eastern Europe, I will add that um, once we have the Shadow Chamber up and running, there's going to be some story missions that will also help knock down the Avatar progress. So all is not lost. Now, Oceana recruits cost 10 supplies. I mean, it'll be worth it to connect to Australia. Because we need to go that way to go up here anyway. And I find it I find these connections so interesting because I've seen other playthroughs people are doing where they have very different map layout connections, like people where these are connected. So interesting how that's a random part of this game too. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. We do have a mass grave for alloys, and I'm sorry I have kind of forgotten Avenger to read some of these course. text from over here too, so I'll make sure to do that. We do want to make contact, though. That is uh, going to be on the table here in a little bit. But right now, we're in pretty good shape, I'd say, here. Well, rule checkpoints are up, so maybe not as much as we used to. I said previously that decreasing the supply drop by 50% is not going to hurt us as much. Uh, 140 still hurts a little bit, because we do need to increase our contact capacity. And there's an upgrade path that we'll need to take to do that. Acid, ooh, acid grenade. All right, the additional corrosive uh, chemical additive to our standard frag grenades results in small explosives that especially effect, effective at removing enemy armor. Targets will continue to suffer persistent damage as the acid clings to them and continues to eat away at the surface it touches. So acid grenades, one of the really good ones because it, I believe it takes away all armor. So that is one of the really good ones here. And I have a feeling we're going to need to... Uh, actually get some of the supplies together to well let's see we have some new things we can do between the wraith suit and the war suit alright we've theorized maybe possible to traverse physical confines of the world do I want to try that? I don't really want to drop 50 supplies on any of these unless it's battlefield medicine uh, let's see here so we can do more ammo more armor experimental heavy weapon we, we may want to field two exosuits eventually but especially for uh, the psi operative Let's see here, let's do, uh, let's see here, advanced explosives, toner skills at manufacturing ordnance, now we can use these skills to upgrade our entire arsenal using the latest technology. You know what, that actually does seem pretty important. I know I just said I don't want to we'll spend the supplies, right away, but we'll Commander. do that. I'll send word when the project is Because I believe advanced explosives actually increases the radius for everything, which is pretty important. But yeah, our upgrade path, and I don't know if I talked about this last time or if I was just staring at the screen afterwards here. We can do more resistance comms. Uh, we can upgrade this for 125 supplies and four, um, four power, which we have. And that's one thing that we're going to do. We have the workshop here. We can send a gremlin over here. We have a power relay that I could upgrade, or it's probably going to be smarter, is to just build Commander, a second power relay down here. Construction of shadow should allow us to better break down and analyze all the alien artifacts and data we've been recovering. I hope so. Um, so if we build a power relay here, that's going to give us additional power. And then what we can do, in fact, is deconstruct this power relay. I don't know if that will refund us some supplies. Build a second resistance comms up there, and then we can push our uh, workshop gremlins around when we upgrade that. So the shadow chamber is almost done. But that's kind of the upgrade path that we're looking at right now. So let's go ahead and... I don't think we actually finished this scan still. Road traffic. All right, upon arriving in the region, we stumble on a legally operating truck broken down along a rough dirt road. Its operator, nowhere to be seen, the truck is loaded with a variety of stolen avenue equipment, some of which may be useful to us, including advanced expanded magazine and advanced stock. Those are useful, actually. Thank you. Now we have 211 intel. We're going to need it. We are going to get to Eastern Europe, but we'll want to build a relay tower, probably, at least to have one in Europe, although I may want to see if I can hold off if I have enough intel and build one over here. It just depends on where the connections go. If Eastern Europe is... Okay, Eastern Europe is definitely connected to Western Europe. And now we can actually see if we highlight some of these areas where the connections go. 
So that's exciting. Uh, nope. Wrong button there. Alright, so that's connected. This is not connected, but we can see some of the connections up there, so it's alright. Let's go ahead and make contact. That'll cap us. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. We can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our systems. Well, we still need to do that so we can have that facility on the table. I'm not so concerned about alloys right now. Shadow team to establish now operational regional contact. Oh wow, just all the talking all at once. Carol Garcia is now available. Let's see Although what Although I'm is. impressed with the strides we've made in infiltrating the alien psionic network, the depths of their technological advancement continue to leave us one step behind. However, with the enhanced decryption capabilities of this chamber, I'm confident we will find a great deal more information than we had previously hoped. Cool. Actually, you know what? I am really a fan, and I'll get to this text in a minute, of the 1940s, 50s sci-fi era just random lights that we don't know what really function they have, but they flash and they look cool. So they're there. Um, that nice addition to the shadow chamber. But we can, we do have recover the uh, black site vial and examine it. We also have examining the codex brain. We are fully prepared to begin our analysis of the material right. recovered from the advent black site, Commander. So it's here. How With are we doing on our current research? Fully operational. We can use its advanced decryption capabilities to analyze the codex artifact recovered by our forces. As we have five scientists, I don't really feel like we need to build a laboratory. Let's go ahead and finish this. This won't take too long, and we're not that behind the barrel. Quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. All right, we'll go ahead and put Carol here, just in the off chance that we need the defense turret stuff. And we may be able to deconstruct that later. But yeah, I like our I like our build plan right now. So we'll let that research finish, then we'll start researching the shadow chamber. Which means we need to continue to make contacts unless we have another event pop up here. Alright, so Eastern Europe will give us a little bit of money. Will likely prove crucial to our oh, 62. Ongoing efforts, Commander. That is pretty nice. Alright, so the alien data cache appears to be a physical storage device intended for the direct interface. With the data pads we've seen, Advent forces carrying in the field, having successfully decrypted the files, including a variety of tactical data and varying intelligence, I've yet to discover what it is about this data in particular that requires the aliens to maintain physical stores of critical information. Considering the sophistication of their technology in general, one would think the inherent security risk involved in this would be enough to dissuade them. In any case, it can only benefit us to seize these assets whenever possible. Ooh, so maybe they're trying to feed us information. Alright, so we have data cache possibility again. We have all of these which are okay, so we do have some backup intel, but I'm going to pop out of here and we're going to go to the shadow chamber because that will, this will take up our research regardless. And black site file or codex brain, we'll do the vial first and I'll read it again. Recover the advent black site, this unknown substance appears to be the product of equally gruesome and intensive refining process as to the composition or purpose that is yet to be determined. So we need a shadow chamber to figure it out. And look, Lily Shen and Dr. Tigan are working together. What a team! All right. So let's see if we can make some contact in time. Clumsy Mind, almost with his psionic training. And then I don't think we'll necessarily be doing a Black Sight mission or Black Sight vow right away. I don't even know if that directly unlocks a mission associated with it. And, oh, supply raid. Okay, well, that answers that question. I was wondering if maybe I could go to the uh, black market, but I guess we won't do that right now. For our next field operation. Okay, Shadow Chamber giving us some advanced scouting. Elite Officer, Heavy Lancer, Elite Trooper, Andromedon, Muton, Archon, and Viper. So that informs us of the enemies that are there, which is great, because I'm not seeing any mechs. Okay, technically, when the Andromedon dies, it becomes a mech unit, so... It could be worthwhile to take something there, but we'll go ahead and launch the mission. Setting course for the Arctic territory. So Eastern Europe will have to wait. Still makes me think of a now old movie Euro Trip, which was before the Euro was even a currency. All right, so Doctress is actually back. 
in time. Only a only a little shot fired to affect you here. So clumsy mind, we're all pretty good here. Uh, let's see. I maybe do want to make a second exosuit for a psi operative here. That could be pretty nice. I mean, I don't necessarily need to take the EMP grenade. I'll take the acid grenade. Uh, that'll be pretty good. And we have two plasma grenades. That should be worthwhile. We have two mimic beacons. Uh, I guess the question is, do I want Moretti or do I want Yuma's or Clumsy Mine with the flashback? They're both in pretty good positions to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and remove this because we should have Zinnia back. And this mission is listed as very difficult, so we'll make armor available. We'll make items available. We're still not taking a med kit, which is a, feels a little perilous to me here. It would be worthwhile to possibly drop Yuma's and take a second support with the med kit. And we could do that. Let's hang on here. I, I want to think about the people that are there. Because Yuma's, yeah, we'll do that for this mission. Which means we may be down a Mimic Beacon. Let's go ahead and uh, do this loadout first, though. Because Clumsy Mind, when we get more organic enemies in there, I really want to make sure that you have a direct damage sonic ability. So let's see, did I actually do her weapon upgrades? We have a scope for you. Let's see here. We can do an expanded magazine, advanced expanded magazine. Yeah, I like this. Advanced magazine. And while the scope is good... Let's give it a superior scope. That'll be nice. And I feel like Zinnia needs a different color weapon, so we'll do a... Uh, we'll do a nice bright red. With what kind of pattern on it? Oh, that's a little rough. Zebra print, eh, that's a little loud. I like the dots, we'll do the dots. All right. So a little sad for some of the low res textures there, but that'll that'll be how it is for a while. So Clumsy Mind, we're gonna, we're gonna bring you back in once you get your other Sonic training. And I kind of feel like I'm gonna need you for uh, some other missions. Once we have Soul Fire, that'll help a lot. I think for here, uh, Lori's gonna be very beneficial. So let's see, we, that still means we have a second Mimic Beacon somewhere. Since we have Scanning Protocol... Oh, wait, I gotta make Utility Items available again. Which means we need to, uh... Okay, this is not what we want to do. But let's make Utility Items available. Yay! So she does have the Spider Suits. One Mimic Beacon here. You can only have one grenade, so we'll give you the med kit and the uh, flashbang. That might be better on the support anyway. So Doctress will still have the Skulljack and the heavy ordnance with the rocket launcher. Uh, Viper rounds, we'll give that to uh, Zinnia. This is very good because we have a very organic heavy uh, and we still have the damn pistol. We need to upgrade that. We'll make lightning hands a lot more useful, and then I really, really am liking... I mean, I can't see it right here right now. We actually did not give him a PCS, but I am really liking these armor-piercing rounds. That is a uh, that is a good get. So, personal combat sims, I wanted to give you a uh, superior perception. And once we upgrade the uh, other ability, that'll help. So maybe we don't need the double scope, because that puts an aim 103. But that's okay. Here we go. Good team, good times. Yuma's, I think you need your weapon. Yeah, you need your weapon refitted too. So let's just go ahead and uh, we already know what we want to do with it. It's a happy yellow weapon with some uh, happy little smiles on it. There we go. That's that's a plasma rifle if I've ever seen it. That's for sure. All right. Looking good in the neighborhood, everybody. Feel free to tell me if you want any of your weapon upgrade or change or anything like that. We do have a med kit. Nelson is our person that does have a revival protocol and medical protocol. That's going to be very important for some missions here. Let's launch. The 
Resistance got the jump on an advent troop transport moving through this area, and they've left the goods for us to salvage. The transport is still disabled, but it's likely we'll encounter hostile forces attempting to lock down the site. Secure the AO and seize whatever you can. Thanks, Bradford. Same as before, supply ra supply raid. Get the stuff, get out. We know there's Andromedans there. They can be pretty nasty. It's a little risky to not take an EMP grenade on this, and we don't have Haywire Protocol either. But there's no max. Menace 1 5. The Advent Troop Transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Alright. So, where are we on the map right now? Okay, it seems like we're tucked in a corner. Looks like we have some decent possible high ground. I am not. I can grapple. I'm not gonna grapple just yet because I wanna walk over there and make sure we're not gonna flank ourselves. So, Lori. I'll let you go first. Yumaz is technically our best scout, but he's in our worst position to scout until we move some people out of the way. Alright, we can probably tuck you down here. Moving for to now. designated coordinates. Said all I want to do is get a hostile contact, and we got one. Alright, I think we don't only got one, we saw another one over there, so we got two groups nearby each other. Which makes things a little more interesting for Zinnia. Because I can totally pop her up here. And we'll get the death from above advantage. But I don't know if that's going to help me in this first encounter. If anything, it may get her ass flanked. Grappling. We'll see. Somehow that doesn't catch their attention. Alright. I don't think we have the dark event with extended range yet. But this is going to be a good ambush. If we move. don't screw it up. Okay, good. She's got shots on a lot of people now. And we've got a really good sense of the field of vision right now, too. Let's go ahead and run you up here. We may be able to set up a pretty decent kill zone, in fact. Alright, so Kobachi. Got it. As long as we all don't get spotted. And of course, highest movement gets to go last. Warning. But I won't set him on Overwatch. Oh good, a turret too. Now fortunately where the rest of my team is, the turret may not see them. But that's going to make Doctress's role very important here. Because we may need the uh, combat protocol just for that. Alright. Doesn't look like there's as much she can do. That's partial cover. That might have to do for now. On the move! And we'll just tunk her down here. Standing fast. In case somebody decides to patrol and spot anybody. Okay. As long as we can get a good kill zone still. Okay, are y'all really going in the building? That's so cheap. Okay, I hear... I hear something that sounds a lot like mechs, but maybe that's just... Snow stomping here. So what we can do... So we can kill zone this area. I don't know if we can kill zone everything and the turret because the turret may be blocked. But we do have six Seven enemies and five me. shots. So we can set up a pretty good trap here. We don't have to worry about armor so much. Okay, there's unfortunately... I can break conceal with him, but we may just have to wait. He doesn't really have a great shot. Lori, on the other hand, has a good shot. Doctress has a good shot. I mean, I could drop him... Okay, I can't take him all the way over here. And Yumaz we're obviously not doing anything with yet. 
Uh, do I want to keep her on Overwatch right now? I don't know for sure. We're going to be leading off with your grenade. So let's see here. Launching your grenades doesn't end your turn. So we can try and take advantage of that, which means I kind of wish I'd positioned you a little better. Let's see if we put you over here if we can get a better Overwatch. Yes, we can. Scanning. I hope that doesn't mean the turret shouldn't be flanking. In fact, the turret shouldn't be able to see these guys. Alright. We got two overwatches, we got long watch. And I want to kind of keep Doctors in my pocket with uh, what we're going to do with you, so... I know I got a good grenade shot here. There's got to be a good one. There we go. That should be everybody. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. All right, let's do it. Heads down. Oh, we got an achievement. Now I've become death. That's good news for the spoiler alert. All right. So we got Salvo as well, which means he'll be able to fire. Great, so that worked exactly like I hoped it would. You don't always get that next time. Okay, that's not how we kill things. Yeah, I didn't get it. Alright. Like I said, a little weird on the low res textures on some of that stuff. That's good. Oh, that was a graze dodge. Okay. So who else do we got there? Okay, so we got sniper rifle for everything. Too. Oh man, are we gonna get the archon too? Is this gonna be a clean sweep? Big deal. No, we still we gotta still have some other watches here. Okay, maybe we don't. Alright, well we still have Jester, who will be revealed. We have Doctress, who has about as good of a shot as you can hope for. Alright, let's just hope this gets it. Got it! Alright. Only the best. So there's a promotion, so we got another max rank soldier now. Yuma's is still covered. We can move you or Overwatch. We cannot fire a second time, but Overwatch. that is, uh, and by the way, I hate bringing it up every episode, but if you hear a little squeaking in the background, that is a dog with a squeaky toy. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's a good start. We still have a turn here that we'll need to deal with. I feel like moving Yuma's up here is best. So now I'm become death and is, is an achievement where you get three kills in a turn without explosives. And that is a very serious group and that is exactly why we save. That's why we save the mimic beacons. That is why we save the uh, acid bomb as well. Hopefully they patrol towards the turret. Oh god, she's still on long watch. Okay. Let's set up this engagement now. Because that's how long watch works. Okay. Hard target, minimal damage. As long as they don't reveal Yuma's. Alright. That could have gone better. Because I was hoping to move the rest of my group up there. Okay, so you're out. She does have a superior scope. But unfortunately, you are going to have to reload. You have pulled your weight so far, Zinnia, that's for sure. Good to go. And she doesn't have eyes anyway. Now, how far can we launch this acid grenade? We're going to be able to hit enough. So that's good. Let's get behind this magical full cover tree that hopefully does not explode. Actually, wow, we got promotions for everybody here. Well, we I just hope there's not a group to the left. Alright, so we're probably going to need you monster. here. There's the turret saying, hello, friend. Now the acid grenade is going to do some work here. 
This may still be a good time for a Mimic Beacon, though. Alright, so that's gonna have to do. Bombs away! Does this blow up cover? I don't know. But there goes armor, and there's acid burning, except on the mechanical units. Alright, Doctress. How does a rocket look right now? Oh, rocket looks pretty damn good. Because we don't have snap targeting here. And it'll actually blow up some some of that damn cover too. Ready for the fireworks! Alright. You'll notice I'm being a little liberal. That's why we bring the explosives. So that we can be. Alright. We got acid. We got a muton that's over here somewhere, I thought. Alright. We got that's popping in and out all of a sudden, so that's not great. Alright, I'll go. Who do you have a shot on? You have the Andromedon, and that may be worth taking. You can also launch a plasma grenade. Two for one prayer, and we did not kill that guy. Alright, we're gonna do that. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, I get with you. Come on This might be a mimic beacon, to be honest. Because right now he's going to get right attack. Rapid fire will cancel on him. I hate losing the aim bonus, but on the other hand, he does have a grenade and he can take these guys out. So maybe it's not Mimic Beacon time. What I'd like to know is to, will she have a shot if she goes over here? Probably not. So, I can't really run her to full cover. I don't want to make any juicy grenade targets for the Muton. Do we do anything inside this building? Yeah, might as well. Go, go, go! We lose an Overwatch. Hopefully, we don't have aliens in there. Alright, so I don't health. Well, here's the thing, too, is that the Andromedon's gonna come after him anyway. So we need to, uh, we're gonna need to mimic beacon here. This. And as nice as it would be, because once he's up, he's still gonna come back to life. Alright. So where can I throw it? That, where can I throw it that everyone will see it? Uh, that muton can't see it from over there. There's not a great place for me to fall back either. Like I said, I was just really hoping to do that one more damage. I kind of like Yuma's here if I can get him to survive. It's a little bit of an if, though. Okay, we'll put this over here anyway. Said I don't want to put it too close to other things for fear of uh, mutons coming out. And, okay. Oh, acid burn explosion. Did not reach by acid, so good thing I didn't waste a shot there. I feel a little wasteful on that mimic beacon, but this was a setup that I was. I gotta remember that kind of got blown. By Ooh, this setup got a little blown by Long Watch. Not that I can really blame Zinnia. And now you're going to be able to see the Mimic Beacon. So you should fire on it. And it's gone. That's okay. Oh, you're pointing at the thing that's now dead. Okay. So we got a good flanking shot, but not a very high percentage flanking shot. 
You got a 100% shot on the Andromedon, 82% shot on the Muton, which could go straight for a kill. Red line. I kind of want to get a shot from somebody. I gotta remember that first off, Adrian has our other mimic beacon now. Okay, he only has one shot. And you only have one shot. We'll take the 64. It's more likely than not to hit. If it doesn't hit, we'll work on it, but I got a lot of big guns that can go on the Andromeda on there. That's a good one. Alright, explosion, it's now a mech. That's the animation I was looking for last time. That means... 4 damage, 7 to 8 damage. So that's shot here, but it's 97% now. Let's go here. I mean, we've done worse with this. One, and pretty much... I think this means whether it hits or not. Okay, I think he has a stock. I think this means stocks don't work with rapid fire. All right, that well, good. that experiment known. Um, let's see here, combat protocol. That means we're going to be just short on damage, aren't we? Yeah, we are. All right, it's a little annoying, but we can manage. You only have a shot on the Andromeda, 76%. Let's do it. Now we don't have to worry about combat protocol. Target neutralized. Could okay. use some ammo over here. So we still got this shot. That's full cover. Which is not great. We can possibly blow up that cover. Turrets don't count as cover. And if I move up too far, we may have some problems here. Alright, so the more reliable thing to do... You still have 82% despite it being high cover. So I think we'll go for that shot. That's a good one. Happy now. And death from above as well, so... And just use that to reload. Ready to go. All right, Doctor still has a shot too. Good use of the rocket that last time, that's for sure. All right, does this mean? Oh, that actually just outright killed him. Was there a repeater action or something that I missed? That's okay. All right, conceal. Blending in. Orders confirmed. On the move. We just got a scout. There's probably just one more group. And I don't want to go too far because we've seen what happens when we accidentally give our friends vision the first time, right? Orders confirmed. Move it out. So we'll let Yuma's kind of walk across the acid lake just a little bit. I think we'll just give Doctors the high ground for now, just because I don't want to awake awaken any other groups. Not a problem. So, good shooting, team. Alright, so we have covering fire. This could actually be a pretty good time for a scan. Heading out. So maybe we'll do that. I have a feeling there's not too many enemies left. What do we got, friend? Alright, nothing. Okay. So all the fire, scorched earth stuff is gone now. And then now. I could have moved up a lot more aggressively, but since there's no time limit, there's no rush. Hostile targets in sight. Shit. Okay, that's a problem. 
If they patrol down this way, Yuma's is going to get revealed. So we got to move up and try not to trigger them. I'm pretty sure Zinnia doesn't even have eyes on them anymore. So this is a pretty good sniper perch. This will tell us real quick if they're going to engage or not. They should Moving not out. engage from this close. And we'll have long watch next turn anyway. Okay, good. Now this is a little riskier. And unfortunately that's not cover. Right now Yuma's is in a position where he could be flecked. I was really expecting to be kind of around here. If I'd realized the map edge was over there, it would have been different. So one more Andromedon. I mean, it's a totally manageable group. Mm. Sorry about that. All right. We can try and creep up here just a little bit. Like I said, I want to get in position where next turn I can go into cover. Okay, I don't like you running around the front there. Moving out. We do have a flashbang, which I'm pretty sure Andromedons are immune to. Um, I'm not seeing too much in the way of supply crates unless that counts as one over there. So the explosives could be an issue, but once again we do have another mimic beacon. Unfortunately it's on the person that I may want to initiate with. Already there. Just keep you out of cover for now. We'll have to reload you anyway. Alright. So Doctress, what you got? I'm gonna go ahead and set up a kill zone here. Securing zone. And I think we can maybe get a little cute here. Maybe. Finally. Okay, is this gonna reveal us? No. Good to know. Okay, so we'll have shots on uh, we'll have shots on all three of these guys from over here behind full cover. That's good news. Position confirmed. So I definitely want to take those shots on the Andromedon, and I want to set a mimic beacon down. This should be enough cover Absolutely. to aid protocol or combat protocol. This should be enough cover. If we have to launch a grenade and we kill a little bit of supplies, whatever. Is we still got one. This is probably the last group. So we don't have a really good overwatch trap. We're going to have one. Come get them. Then long watch. Yeah, let's start off with rapid fire. Because he's already used his beacon. So elite trooper, elite trooper, Andromedon. Well, we know which one's the bigger threat. If we're going to lead off with rapid fire, we might as well do it like this. That's a good start. It hit the plate. Position compromised. And rapid fire from stealth. Wow. Good job, Yumas. How many is that now? A lot. Alright, so. Can we get Long Watch or are they gonna run the wrong way around their guns? Okay, we got one that got hit. I don't know if that's a kill or not. It might be. Okay, that's, so got that's the good mugging right there. One. Two. I don't think that was the Andromeda. Oh shit! One down, thousands to go. If the Andromeda moves, we're okay. We got Implacable, which is awesome. Because we may be able to move out of the zone of engagement here. We're not going to be in range to uh, Scanning. combat protocol this time. I don't think we can launch a plasma grenade that would actually kill. I think that'll actually destroy the loot anyway. So we'll reload. 
on you, big nasty. Back online. You still have two moves. Let's Order put you up here. Since this is the last group, I would much rather play it safe. We'll put the Mimic Beacon up here. See if we can keep this guy out in the open. There we go. And since you're implacable now, we'll put you back a little bit. Finally. Okay, one more long watch shot. Hopefully that did not destroy the loot, because these guys will run to each other. Okay, one miss, but that's okay. okay we're not even going to save the Mimic Beak, you guys. Okay, that did not destroy the loot. And Falcon Punch. This is why I moved everybody back. That punch actually knocked down that door. And Mimic Beacon down. Alright, Doctors... We now have combat protocol, which should be able to finish this guy off nicely. But let's see before we do that. Zinnia, do you not have a promotion? I thought you were a dwarf. Alright, who needs one? Lori could use one. Yuma's can't promote. Alright. All right, let's go ahead and lead off here. Uh, I'm going. We'll do your. We'll take your shot first, just to see if we can soften them up. That's enough pace. We got enough shots here. Surely somebody will be able to take Mr. this down, Tom. right? If go not, try. we're in trouble. All right, let's see if we can rapid fire him down. 92%, 0% chance to crit, though. 10. Beam weapons are so fun. Bloody. Is that a promotion? Okay, so I got one. That should be the Status mission. Confirmed. There we go. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. And we didn't even destroy any supplies. Yay. Mission 14 flawless. Seven turns. Two enemies killed per turn. Sweet baby something. Yeah, two per turn. I don't know if I'm going to be topping that one for a while, but that start just was so strong. So very strong. 75% successful shot percentage. Mimic Beacon being the punching bag here. Cover bonus is okay, but we can never see that number for whatever reason. Lots of records today. But yeah, it's all good. Let's go back to base. Well done, Commander. It's always good for morale when we ace a mission like that. Ace is the right word. Operation Sinking Death, more like Operation LOL. Well, Kavachi, you, uh, or Kavach, excuse me, I keep wanting to do the Italian pronunciation. Doing good there, Doctress. You're up. We have we have another major. We got three majors now, so she can't promote. I gotta remember that. We got four majors now, so you can't promote. So you just cult, kill Stole for no great reason. All right, which means we need to start cycling in some other people too. So Salvo or Hail of Bullets. Launching or throwing grenades doesn't end turn. Hail of Bullets does guarantee a hit, which is actually pretty nice. It just empties your clip. I still think Salvo's... I think Salvo's still really good just for the grenade than Overwatch. Yeah, we'll do that. And then Doctress. Restoration or Capacitor Charge. Grimmon flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. That's a really good emergency thing in a pinch. Capacitor Discharge, on the other hand, is a nice AoE damage ability. So you're sending the Gremlin to a location where it emits a substantial electrical discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage. So you, Doctors, are, are our anti-robro. So that seems to be what we're going to be wanting to do here today. What was your... Did you not get a bonus ability from the uh, officer training school? That's annoying. 
It must have been one of those first promotions that we got before we build it. Oh well. Capacitor Discharge. You've been so effective you haven't really needed the bonus skill, I guess, right? Oh, you got Volatile Mix. There we go. I don't know where. Maybe I just missed it before. Alright, so that's good, and that's where upgrading our grenades is going to be pretty nice. Yeah, go team. Oh, wow. Another advanced focus. Will can be useful. Superior speed. A repeater, advanced auto loader, which is good. Wow. All kinds of goodies here. Advanced stock, expanded magazine, corpses, 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 corpses. Turret wreck, interment wreck. Look at this. Alloys, lots of alloys. Illyrium crystals. One Illyrium core for all that. 160 supplies, too. So, Andromeda Autopsy is now uh, available. Begins the inhabit. The beings that inhabit these suits clearly come from an environment utterly hostile to humans. The corrosive substance they use as a weapon may be the equivalent will water them, but on this planet it's deadly. Theorize as to how the substance could somehow be used to advantage as part of our explosive weapons. Yay, so here we are. We got 190 scrap. We don't have anybody injured right now. I guess the question is, I prob well, there's not really a question. I should probably go ahead and upgrade the resistance comms. Because that's something I'm going to be doing anyway. Like I said, we got a whole series of things that we want to do here. But resistance comms is step one. We pushed more. our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. All right, so we want to definitely upgrade our workshop. The next thing we have to build then is on the shield of power coil. So we'll empty you out. We have nobody to heal. That's okay. This means that we have seven contacts available. Jesus. Okay, so that upgrade only adds one extra contact, but now we have 11 and two engineers staffed in here, which is pretty damn good. Getting some more workshop gremlins will really help with this too. All right, so we are going to go just a little bit longer. That mission took about as long as I expected, but... We have alien alloys and illyrium crystals from alien wreckage. We'll investigate that now. Six Avengers days. Plotting new course. I'm feeling a little better about having to make contact here. I'd rather, I'm going to need the crystals and alloys, but not for too much longer. Alright, so let's go ahead and scan, scan. And then there we go, soul fire. Good job, clumsy mind. Does guarantee damage to organic en enemy, ignores armor and cover. What's next? All right. Domination, Solace, or Stasis Shield. Stasis Shield is like Stasis, but for an ally. Psyoperative is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments for them or any nearby squad mates. We haven't had to deal with that as much, but that could change later. Domination, permanently mind control of an enemy. Only one successful domination per mission. I think I'm going to go with Solace just because of some enemies that use sonic abilities that could be on the horizon here. So Clumsy Mind, go back to your room. And we're going to get uh, another bit of research here probably in just a minute too. If we don't get another mission, like I said, we have rural checkpoints right now, so our next supply drop is going to be a little weak. And we have a retaliation strike actually pretty soon. But I do want to get these crystals, and then we'll finish making contact. We'll need to build a tower there, too, before too long. But once I do the scan, I should be able to run to the black market. So let's see here. Black sites. Vile. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return, cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences, in near-infinite combination, yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands, and the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from by cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar? Just what exactly is in that vial? 
in my worst nightmares I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed, refined into the material we now possess. But why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. It's a high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. New objective added. Oh, story time is fun time here. They used the G word genocide. Okay, well, after making contact with local resistance. Okay, so investigate the Black Site Val coordinates. All right. Complete the Black Site Val coordinates mission. We're making so. progress, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest findings. So everyone's very happy about that here. July 23rd, uh, code name uh, Chrysopoia. I feel like I should know what that means. My initial curiosity and excitement regarding our earlier discoveries involving the recorded alien data have all but extinguished by the disturbing results of my latest test. Having analyzed the composition of the green-hued substance retrieved from the Advent Black site, I can only draw one conclusion that the facility was designed to s solely for the refinement and production of concentrated genetic material, all the Gattaca stuff you saw before, human genetic material. While the entirety of our ship systems dedicated to my analysis are with, I found that the single vial we recovered contains a un the unique human genomes of over one million subjects, one million people convinced to join the Advent cities out of desperation then subjected to appalling experiments that eventually cost them their lives. To what end, I can only imagine. Alright, so we can view more shadow products. We have the Codex Brain available. I don't think we need to do that yet. Greetings, Commander. Let's see what research we have here. We have the Andromedon autops Autopsy, which... Uh, I think upgrading our explosives is going to be pretty important. We do have a decent amount of intel. Let's go ahead and do the Andromedon wreck. As initially speculated by Shen, it does in fact appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status, as we learned with some astonishment in the field. All right, so notice that we have five scientists. We could build a laboratory to um, make things go a little faster. And if I were I on legendary difficulty, that, that could the be the aliens case. were conducting questionable experiments involving human captives at the black site we raided with the help of local resistance operatives. What we did find was something more reprehensible than I could have possibly imagined. A facility solely dedicated to the rent. Sorry, I cut you off. Commander, oh, we good. Have the coordinates of the alien forge facility. I've marked its position on the map. We'll need to contact the local resistance before we can attempt to move in, though. I was so worried that it would be like halfway across the globe. That's so good. So we can still finish making contact with Eastern Europe, and then we already have the contact base available to go to Australia and do this mission. So Faceless Summer, which will give us some supplies, which is good. So that means we actually do have a little bit of time, which is great. And we'll technically be able to get some more recruits for 10 supplies if it comes down to it. With the second continental bonus, but we'll also have a connection to South America and we won't be too far away from that facility. So let's go ahead and finish this alien wreckage or get another mission ahead of time. I don't know which it's gonna Oh wait a minute, did I not do research? For you, Commander. All right. Patching it through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. Well, it's nice that you say that, finally. So, supply raids completed, guerrilla ops, alien facilities destroyed, regions contacted, 
Resistance rumors investigated. Avatar progress reduced. All good stuff. Only 108 supplies. And we got new things here. Uh, vigilance, which is coming up. Alloy padding. The acid grenade mitigates that a little bit. I kind of want to see what this is. It looks like our next mission is a retaliation strike. Major breakthrough. Two blocks on the avatar meter. I don't care about that as much anymore because we're pretty close. So 108 supplies. We don't need to do that right now. All right, I really want to get advanced explosives before we get the next retaliation strike. Really want to. Should I hit the black market first, I guess is my question. Uh, uh, cancel, hang on. Because obviously the black market's going to have some new stuff here, and the retaliation's probably going to come within two days. Really, they put the supply drop in Australia? Uh, it's not, I guess that's technically not where it's supposed to be. Uh, you know what? We can do this, this, go down to the supply drop, make the contact over there, up here. I guess we can technically prioritize the Australian contact while we're down there. Uh, you know, it's going to be expensive. We'll need to build a tower in Indonesia. Which is okay, because that'll increase the income. Because we are currently one, two can't even count yeah we don't want to go too far beyond or it's gonna start being uh, really bad so is although I made contact in Eastern Europe we don't need to do that just yet because this mission is gonna stop progress in the avatars well let's go to the black market Avenger plotting new course almost got these things kind of want to do this first market is open. okay expanded magazine and oh that's an that's unfortunate because there's a bunch of things I don't want to sell. Although the data pad is very good money. That's like trading about. That's, well. That's good money. I guess the question is always what do we need the money for? We don't need that many stun lancer corpses, but that's a pretty bad price. I might sell one. We're not that desperate for intel right now. It could come back to earnest, but it's the data pad, not the data cache. So let's see, anything else we can sell that's decent to sell? Let's see, the data cache is 114, and that gives us more. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay there. Alright, what can we buy from you today? By the way, I love this appearance. I don't know who's played Resident Evil 4, but that's just what it looks like to me. Okay, 117 supplies for 35 intel. We can get a scientist for 100 intel. This research is not a high priority. 35 intel for 117 supplies. That's actually pretty good. Superior auto loader, superior speed, superior agility, superior scope. I kind of like, okay, agility here. Does that give dodge? It should give dodge. I'm gonna buy this as well. We only need so much intel right now, and we'll be able to get some more here, probably through missions and otherwise. And we're going to need to build a freaking tower here anyway. So before we even get to, uh, well, let me just go ahead and start scanning this. We'll get the retaliation mission to pop up in just a minute. And there are definitely some things I want to take care of with this. We got a bunch of supplies for a reason. I want to show you why in just a minute. Avenger, Mainly because course. we have some facility upgrades to make and we have one thing from the Guerrilla Tactics School that I really want to get. So we're going to get a retaliation strike before or after. Strategic resource All right. located. Good. We didn't need to go to the, uh, the black market for that. Initial reconnaissance theory indicated an extensive casualties on both sides along with the slew of alien wreckage left behind. During the invasion, we used our onboard sensors to scan for salvage and recover, recover some equipment. So supply drop is available. I kind of want to scan to make contact for Europe. We're not going to lose that, I don't think. But we'll do the supply drop now. Avenger plotting new course. It's it's it, even if we only get one tick of it, we'll get like 33 supplies or something. Okay, 36. And here's the retaliation strike. View retaliation site. Oh god, enemy unknown. I was worried it was time for what the enemy unknown is. I don't want to say it because I don't want to spoil it, but if you've played XCOM any, 
you're probably wondering where a certain alien type is. It's coming. Okay, elite officer, elite trooper, elite shield bearer, heavy mech. So we need to definitely bring some stuff to deal with a little bit of uh, bad things here. The very important part about this mission, too, is that if we fuck it up, we lose Indonesia and we lose the way to get a contact down here. So we can't lose this retaliation strike. And this is very difficult. We are going to bring... We're gonna bring a good team here. I actually, as much as I want to bring the Sonics here, we're gonna need the med kit. We're gonna need the flashbang. We're gonna need a lot of this stuff here. We'll probably swap in for an EMP grenade. So the armor piercing rounds are gonna be good. We do got a lot of plasma grenades, which is nice. Uh, let's see. You should have heavy ordnance, I thought. Uh, we'll do some of the PCS upgrades here in a little bit. I'm gonna stop this episode though just by um, going over real quick what I want to do with all these supplies. We got the Guerrilla Tactics School, which is good. We have new combat tactics that we can get, especially now that we have people that are promoted all the way. First one, very important one, Integrated Warfare. That buffs all of the uh, personal combat things. Now, Cool Under Pressure is really nice because uh, I tend to take a lot of reaction shots. Hunter's Instinct is good for flanked enemies. Biggest Booms is probably going to be one that I go ahead and get. Just because we take a lot of grenades. So Stay With Me could also be nice. Vengeance is... I don't plan... I, I try not to plan on my troops dying. Although that's always subject to change because that's XCOM. Our research is progressing as expected. Alright. Please tell me. We didn't actually... Oh man, we didn't get advanced explosives. That's annoying. We're so close, but we have to do this retaliation strike now. All right, so our power's at capacity. We got 152 supplies. That means we are gonna build a power Maximum relay power consumption reached. on the uh, shield of power coil. Power relay construction initiated. And we're gonna wanna finish that soon. So we'll take this off. Is that worth it? I mean, we don't really have We want to be leveling up Clumsy Mind as fast as possible, and we can't afford to strip this right now. So we'll take it off the defense matrix and hope that bad things don't happen after this retaliation mission. Alright, so six days for the power relay, then we can cut that out, get more resistance comms. Looks good to me. This is Asher, we'll continue next time with the retaliation mission and hopefully, hopefully survive what I know is coming. Because we have some bad news on the way. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care.